Hey guys, okay, so I was going to write a blog entry about some of the accessories I've been picking up lately because there have been a lot of sales after Christmas, all that good stuff. Um, however, whenever I think something's going to be too picture heavy or it's going to be too arduous to actually make the blog, I tend to want to record a video. So that's what I'm doing really fast before I go play a game of Bananagrams in which I'm going to severely destroy my husband. So I'm very excited about that. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to take a quick minute, show some of the accessories I've been rocking, say where I've gotten them, and kind of how I feel about the latest trends. And I'm going to start with this ring that I'm wearing right now. It is pretty cool. My students are actually obsessed with it. They think it's really neat. They say it looks like my hand is flying, which I, I mean it kind of does. It's just like this freeform wing ring. Um, and I got it actually at Forever 21 for like $5. It's really cool. It's really comfortable actually. And it just... Kind of, I wear it on my middle finger because anywhere else the wings would like stick out over the span of my hand. But yeah, I think it's pretty cool. It could also be like flipping someone the bird. I don't know. That's kind of vulgar. But um, I love it. It's pretty cool. Um, other things I got at Forever 21, actually I have one right here. Oh, it's all tangled. I don't know if I can show you this because it's a little big tangle mess. Is this necklace I got specifically to go with a new shirt I got from Forever 21. That reminded me of Kesha. So it's just this long necklace. It's got a hot pink chain and then a black suede cord. And then at the end, it's just got feathers, beads. I know the feather trend is almost over, but with the neon, I felt like it kind of reinvented it a little bit. And so I was cool with that. And I mean, for a Forever 21 price, it's like six, seven bucks. So whatever. I'm going to wear it a couple times with that shirt at least. So I thought that was cool. Um, other things that did not come from Topshop because that's where the majority of my stuff came from. Oh my gosh, I got this hat. I love this hat. And it's this like red bowler style hat. I got it from Claire's. I know it's like a 12 year old girl store. But I got it and it was four or five bucks. It's also got this ink stain on it. That's kind of sad. Um, maybe I'll come off. I know, but I thought it was cool. Kind of hipster. Something I wouldn't normally wear or buy. But because the price was so good, I couldn't resist. And my husband randomly loves when I wear hats, so I figured it would be a good thing to buy because he would like it. Um, so that was a hat I got. I got one other hat when I went to Claire's. And this one's more like a conductor style hat. And I haven't found any, I've worn the red one once, but I haven't worn this one yet because I don't know what to wear it with. I mean, I guess I could wear it with a sweater, but the colors don't really go. Um, I honestly just, I don't know what to wear it with, so maybe somebody can give me a good idea. Like, I guess I could just wear it with a plain, like, oatmeal colored t-shirt, but that's boring. So if you have a good idea, let me know. Five people that watch this, let me know, please. Okay. Um, so on to some other stuff. Oh, I guess I can show you this too, actually, before I go on my other stuff. Um, my new little wallet bag is one of the feed bags, Feed Guatemala. I got it from um, American Eagle, actually on sale. But it's really cool because it's made in Guatemala by the Nest Artisans. And proceeds from the sale of this bag go to feed people in Guatemala. And we all know I'm very pro good things. I don't know what I was going to say. I'm very pro social justice. So I love things that have causes. I love shopping. And so when I can combine the two things, it makes me really happy. Um, the rest of my items actually... Sorry, my hand itches. The rest of my stuff comes from Topshop, and Topshop's having a huge sale on all of their winter accessories. They're all 75% off. I mean, some of them were half off, but I'm fairly certain everything I picked up was 75% off. I can tell you some of the original prices on the things I haven't worn yet, but the first thing I actually wore it to school today is this bracelet, and I thought it was really cool looking because it kind of looks like an heirloom, like something that maybe you got from like an estate sale or a great great grandma or something like that and, and when in reality obviously it's not but it looks like it has a story so maybe you could make up one of those cool stories to go along with your bracelet I don't know but I, I really like it I wore it today it was good with my outfit at school it was seven dollars fits close to my wrist it's got like an adjustable band so you can make it you know something that is a little snugger if you like your bracelets to hang lower totally cool Totally worth it. I think the original price, I don't think I have the tag over here. The original price was somewhere around $30. So I paid like seven or eight for it. I you also get a student discount at Topshop. So if you show them an ID, I have my graduate student ID. If you show them an ID, you get an additional 10% off even if it's on sale. So score, score, score. 
Um, unfortunately, I think the only top shop is in London, New York, Chicago, LA. Maybe there are more. I don't know. Um, okay. On to some weird stuff. So I'm just going to forewarn everybody who watches this. I was in a really funky mood, apparently, when I went shopping. I went on Martin Luther King Day when we didn't have school. So I got some weird accessories. Okay, first of all, I have this ring. And this is why I actually got this one a little bit before Martin Luther King Day. It's really cool. It's like this purpley blue ball. And then it's held up by some, like, gargoyle hands. Is that not, like, the coolest thing you've ever seen? I think it is thebomb.com. Like, I don't know how else to describe this. It is so cool. It's a little annoying because it's kind of floppy and so it gets like a twist a lot but 75% off super unique which brings me to my next ring I haven't worn it out yet this was $35 retail I paid 75% off plus a 10% off that giant stone this like reminds me of like a breastplate that like a knight in shining armor would wear but it's for your hand it's pretty heavy, but it lays flat and like flush your hand, so it's not gonna bug you too much. There's nothing that'll catch. The only problem is like it is two and a half inches long and like an inch and a half in diameter, so it is kind of big. But it's cool. Whatever. Fashion is pain. Mm, doesn't hurt, but whatever. Okay. Next thing. So weird. Wore it to school. I wear all this to school. My kids must think I'm just so bizarre. Um, it's a little piggy bracelet. I know I put the picture of this on my path, so those of you who follow me on path have seen this already. It's a little pig. I don't know. It's kind of symbolic to me in numerous ways, but it's also just a cute little barnyard animal. This one, also kind of annoying because it twists like this, and it's just big enough that it could literally fall off my wrist, so I've got to be careful with it, but I'm constantly like, holding it and petting it. And, ooh, being creepy with it. I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, also 75% off. I think he was like originally $45 and I got him for 75% off, so cute. Okay, let me dig in my Topshop bag because I have a couple other things that I haven't worn yet. Oh my god. Um, one thing that's just cool and normal and the other that is so freaking creepy that I don't know where or when I'm going to wear it. Um, yeah, sorry I look like a vampire. I keep looking at myself in the camera and I have this dark lipstick on and I'm pale and I really look like I belong in Twilight right now, so I'm sorry. Um, I got these earrings. You can see they were 75% off. And I thought they were really pretty. Like, they look really nice against my hair. I don't have any turquoise earrings like this. They were $25, so that made them like 5 or 6 once I had all my discounts. And I just think they're the bee's knees. I think they're super cute and simple enough that I could wear them to school. If you would have seen some of the earrings I thought I was going to buy, my good gravy, you would have said, Allison, you are not literally a giant Native American dream catcher because there were these like giant earrings that were like three times that size with, like feathers dripping down and stones and some shrunken heads um speaking of shrunken heads this is the last thing I'm going to show you this is this necklace I got and I just thought man this is cool this like brings out the anthropologist in me I don't know like this little guy doesn't he he's like scary in like a really cute way like I don't know how else to explain it he's scary cute scary cute um, Audrey's also really enticed by the feather she sees it um, he was 75% off I want to wear it to school and just see what my kids say like if they notice I'm sure they will because um, they notice everything um, but yeah he, he hangs pretty low you can see he's got a little feather hanging out of the bottom of his skull with a little stone and yeah that's Kind of the end of what I wanted to show. I was just kind of excited with some of the really good deals on accessories I had picked up I wanted to share, but I didn't want to take individual photos of each and every one of those things. Oh, lastly, before I go, because this video is approaching 10 minutes, um, I tried new nail, like I tried nail stickers. Laura Rosales knows that two of us have tried these before with really ill-fated results, like they lasted like an hour. Well, this is a different brand. It's not Sally Hansen, it's Kiss. And I have them on in Baby Doll. And this is like four and a half, five days after. I don't know if you can really see. Oh, I guess you can see a little. They still look great. The ones that look like they've peeled, like that one, actually has not. It's just a strip. And the other strip is normal nail polish. It has stayed on forever. It is super cool. They give you enough stickers to do it twice. And it was only $9. So 
It's like $4.50 a wear. And if you know me, my nail polish chips like that. So I'll have it on for like literally less than a day and it looks like crud. So this is excellent because it's lasted for five days. No chips, no wear, no tear. So with that, I think that's all I really have to say. I have to go play Bananagrams because this is already a 10 minute video. So I'm just going to put on this trucker hat and my shrunken head. And I'm going to go out there and I'm going to win. Win, win, win. Cheer, cheer for old Allie B. Here we go. All right. Bye, guys. I'll see you later.